Y'all, have y'all heard about John Walsh and his daughter Megan Walsh and what she's claiming that her father is doing? We are going to get all into it. There is so much more to this story I never knew. I did not know John Walsh was like this. I did not know nothing about this even existed. So shout out to my subscriber who brought this to my attention because now honey we invested now we in it okay now i've been doing just a little bit of research last night and this morning and y'all i'm gonna do more and i ask you if you know more about this story about this situation please email me my email is linked in the description of every video email me and let's talk about it okay because we need to know all the facts Megan Walsh, daughter of John Walsh, joins to discuss CPS child trafficking and having her children taken without due process or cause. Now, Megan has been apparently going around and doing these interviews and talking to people, and y'all, her emotion is real. Her story is real, and it breaks my heart. As a mother, it breaks my heart. Hearing her cry and hearing her just feel helpless she feels hopeless i mean she thinks her father is like i don't know she said that john walsh is going around him and the sheriff of this particular county in florida are going around acting like they're the freaking mob or something like that they're doing nothing but harassing her and he's always harassed her she's saying that he like ignores her He's just shunned her. He claims he wants her to get help, but he won't answer the phone. He won't reach out to her. He won't even talk to her. Y'all, she is crying. It is heartbreaking. There are so many interviews out there. I'm going to link a few of them in the description of this video. I would add the clips, but right now um, I'm getting struck for false struck my channel. Every video getting false claims, false reports, and I'm having to appeal every day. So I'm not trying to risk getting my channel took away. So I'm just going to discuss the gist of what was going on in the interview. And y'all be sure to click the description of this video. Click the links and check out the interviews and listen to them in the full, their full entirety because they are interesting. Now, apparently, Megan has had some kids before, and her father has done this. I don't know how many. I think two or three kids, maybe. Don't quote me on that. But he has took the kids before. Okay, so now she just had a baby, like five days ago. He apparently made false claims that the baby wasn't getting medical care. She went to the doctor because I guess she had a home birth. She went to the doctor after the baby was born. Literally, the baby was four days old. They went and got a checkup, went and got full medical, the full clearance, okay, the documents and all. Well, apparently, he said the baby wasn't getting no medical care. So, at five days old, apparently, she uploaded a video and it went viral. The police, DHS, CPS, whatever, came in after they had been sitting outside her house for like the whole night harassing them, shining lights in their house and in their windows and all this. So they come at eight something in the morning. They bust up in the house, SWAT and all. Take the five day old baby, y'all. Take the five day old baby out of her arms. Yes. John Walsh's daughter. John Walsh is doing this to his own daughter. And he is out here trying to be an advocate for some children clutching my pearls. But we know how certain government officials and certain people think they are above the law. We know. And we know certain government things, certain government people, we know they're crooked. We know that. Now, I just want to read a little bit more into this. There is a petition on change.org so let's go read about that a national outcry for megan walsh the daughter of ncmec founders john and reeve walsh 
America's Most Wanted host and founder of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, John Walsh is well known for the good deeds he's done throughout the years. And their son was killed, John and Reeve Walsh, after their son was killed, John and Reeve Walsh became national advocates for missing children and founded the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Everything looks good on paper and in front of the camera, but what is going on behind closed doors? Apparently, the couple made false allegations to Florida's Child Protective Services against their daughter, Megan Walsh. Although the allegations were never proven to be true and Megan was never given due process, in 2021, the Walshes had the Florida Depart Department of Children and Families remove Megan's children from her so that they could adopt them. You'd think that things couldn't get any worse, but they have. Megan recently had another child who is a little over a week old, and Walshes repeated their same abuse tactics, used their name and power, and had the baby removed from Megan's home. This was after law enforcement sat outside her house all night spying on her. How much did John pay them, or was that at expense of tax dollars? Either way, the actions of John and Reeve Walsh are unacceptable. The fact that judges and others have supported this and is not only unacceptable, but it's concerning. Sadly, Megan Walsh is one of many people that have been victimized by a system that is in place to support and protect. If your children were or are fraudulently taken from you, taken away from you, we want you to know that you are not alone. It's time that the country come together and stand up and speak out against these injustices faced by Megan Walsh and many other innocent families. If you were a victim as a child, we want you to know that we see you and we hear you too. We are in this fight together. To those involved in wrongfully having Megan's children removed, the clock is ticking and your time will come. Every last one of you will be exposed. We demand Megan's children to be returned to her care immediately. We are definitely following this story out. We are definitely following it now because this right here is heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. The least we can do is share this, share her story, because that's what she's wanting. It's like she's crying out for help. And child, I'm going to help. Somebody crying for help. I'm going to help. I'm going to try. It's the least I can do is share this story. Y'all, if you're following this story, if you know more about it, go ahead and email me and we'll talk. We are definitely going to talk more about it as more developments come out. As I hear more, as we learn more, y'all going to learn more too. Oh, and the most important thing that one of my subscribers pointed out that I wanted to add to the equation is Megan started to be targeted and her kids being took from her when she started questioning her brother's death. There's that T. Y'all smash that subscribe button, click that bell to all, that way you'll be notified whenever I upload. I love y'all for watching. Don't forget to click the description below this video and check out the interviews with Megan in their full entirety. They are really interesting and they tell more about it. You can hear more about the story and hear more of her raw emotion. Y'all, this is sad. I love y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.